Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome, I'm Stefania. In today's video I'm gonna start my reading journal for the month of November. For this month I've decided to use some stickers that are made. If you've been following me on Instagram for a little bit of time, let's say about a year, you're probably gonna recognize these stickers. Because uh, I've created them last year for the month of November in my bullet journal. Over that this year I've decided to work on them again and create something different, like changing all the colors and this time I've worked on them in the digital way, I would say. Sadly, the printer isn't the best one, like uh, it does the work of printing, but it doesn't really print uh, exactly how it should, sadly. And I would say that the digital version of these stickers is definitely better. Anyway, let's try to move on with this video. Okay, probably the first thing you're gonna notice in this video is that the background is different from my usual background, I would say. And that's because it has been cloudy for a few days now and uh, I've tried to postpone recording the video, but I couldn't postpone any longer. So this time I've done something different. Instead of uh, using natural light, I had to use artificial light. So I had to take away the background that I always use because it was literally creating a mess. Like it was reflecting all the light and it was impossible to see anything clearly. So this is what's gonna happen every time I'll have to record a video and uh, I'll have to use uh, artificial light. By the way, let me know in a comment if you think uh, it's fine or if this type of light does bother you. Because uh, I've never used anything else if not natural light so far. Talking about the theme, as always, I kept on going with the scrapbooking one. And uh, I've used these stickers and some washi tapes uh, that I've recently bought. To be honest, uh, AliExpress uh, has been a problem for me in the past few weeks. I don't know why, I just saw so many wonderful washi tapes and I ended up buying uh, a few of them. And uh, at the beginning of November, I've set up another order with of washi tapes. And that's because, honestly, I might have a problem. Before I was thinking I had a problem with stickers, honestly, I think that my so-called problem with stickers is uh, nothing compared to the one that I'm having at the moment with washi tapes. I'm obsessed. I just see them, I love them, and uh, uh, what can I say? I don't know where to put them anymore because I have way too many, honestly. And the fact is that I try to use them even more to kind of I don't know, finish a few so that I have more space to fit into the new one. But the problem is that when I finish a washi tape, I'm like, okay, I can buy a new one. Talking about future videos, uh, I know I'm extremely late with editing and uploading them, so I'm a little bit behind with my schedule, but it's fine. You're gonna see a new unboxing video because I had to order a new notebook for my 2023 reading journal, and that's because uh, I still had one notebook that I won in a giveaway to use uh, for next year, but that's gonna be used for my bullet journal because I ran out of space. Well, for my reading journal, I've decided that I wanted to have a new year in a new one. Also because uh, I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of pages uh, by the end of the year. Even if I've definitely read less in the last few months, uh, I would say that uh, if I would start a new year in this notebook that I'm using right now, for the second half of 2022, I would probably only have space for the yearly pages, basically. And uh, I do want to do that. 
So I'm gonna see where this uh, notebook is gonna finish, like where I'll be with December, and then I'll decide what to do with the pages that I still have there. I won't like leave them empty, don't worry. But for next year, I'll use a new notebook. So, as I was saying, uh, I won't uh, leave a lot of empty pages here, I will probably add more stats or things like that, or maybe some pages that I didn't create at the beginning of the year but it would be nice to have, I think I'm gonna see it uh, by the end of the year. And then uh, I'm just gonna move to a new notebook, which uh, honestly, you've kind of felt me choosing it, because I put four photos of four different notebooks that I was involved with and you helped me choose the best one. Actually, between the last two, it was quite hard because for almost 23 hours it was a 15.50, but then someone picked up the one and I'm so happy with it. I can't wait to show it to you. I'm gonna be honest also about one thing, I want to start working on my yearly pages as soon as I can. The problem is that I'm running out of time, honestly. I don't have a lot of free time since this day. I'm kind of... Uh, let's say that the change of season is kind of fitting right now because uh, until uh, a few weeks ago, weather was kind of crazy here. It wasn't looking like autumn at all. And all in a sudden it's autumn and then there is this, I would say, tiny little problem, which is actually a huge one for me. And this is the fact that now at like 5 p.m. it's already all dark outside. And uh, I'm gonna tell you one thing about my weird brain because I think that by now we can say that you all got it. I'm a weird person and I can do nothing about it. Is that uh, when I look outside and it's dark, my brain is like, okay, the day is over. And uh, I fall into, okay, it's too late to do something, but it's not, but you should. I have a war with myself, literally, I'm always battling with this. It has been a problem I've had since I was a little kid. I always hated coming back from school when it was already dark or sad because I felt like uh, I didn't have time for everything when actually I had the same amount of time, for example, of when I was coming back from school and it was spring. But the dark outside kind of confused me. I don't know why. And so I'll have to find a way to push myself and bring up my productivity level and work on this video because uh, I really want to throw out that plan with me video as soon as I can for the next year and uh, to do that I have to work on it. And one thing that I can already tell you is that there are gonna be so many different things because uh, I want to create so many things that I have never created before and so I have to understand how to do that. I hope to be able honestly to put up the video before the middle of December but I have high doubts about that. I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but the thing that I love about having a reading journal, just like a bullet journal, a journal in every kind of way, it doesn't matter what you use it for, is that by using it you learn what works and what doesn't. And you can create something that is perfect for you and I just love this. I will say that by now, after so many months using my reading journal, I know for sure that there are some spreads that 
I shouldn't uh, even think of creating next year because I've barely used them. And there are some other spreads that I will for sure create because uh, I thought I, like, I would have never needed them. Instead, uh, I think I'm gonna use them quite a lot next year. And so I'm really trying to pull all my ideas together just to set up uh, my reading journal for next year. And I'm also super excited about that and about that video because my most watched video so far is my video about the setup of my reading journal. And so I can't wait to do that again because I think it's a video that people really love to watch. This is basically what I'm doing in these days. I'm trying to take out uh, all the ideas that are going through in my head and put them black and white just to know what to do. We are at the end of the video, so I'm gonna leave you with a little flip through of the pages that I've created for November. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumb up and subscribe for more videos like this. Let me know in a comment if you like the light in this video or if it was a total mess for you. So I'll try to record with natural light in the future if you can send this type of light. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!